Hi everyone, this is Kamal from LokiaPowerRazor.com and uh, I welcome you all to the hands-on video and how-to video series of Windows Phone 8.1. So uh, most of you would know that uh, Windows Phone 8.1 preview for developers has hit uh, devices. Uh, you can follow a simple tutorial to load it on your devices and uh, if you are worried about things like warranty etc then uh, according to Nokia developer official account there is no impact on warranty and uh, Windows Phone 8, Windows Phone 8.1 is a very huge upgrade, huge update, and it brings changes to not only the visual, uh, visual, uh, I mean, uh, to the UI or multitasking, but also to nearly all the applications and settings. So, uh, in this, uh, I mean, the series of videos will start with uh, this video, which will take you through through the changes in UI and uh, multitasking. And we will also let you know how to go and set different stuff here. So, okay, so let's start. So when you go to the lock screen, so there is one lock screen theming application which uh, Microsoft has uh, promised will come uh, later. So, but still you can see one change. So as you go and swipe down, you will see the first big change, which is notification screen, much demanded and much awaited. So. You have the notification screen now on uh, Windows Phone, so you have uh, like quick access buttons. Then, uh, if you look closely, then here you can see battery percentage. Okay. So battery percentage just below that battery icon. It's very neat, and it was like uh, um, there was lots of discussion around whether it will come or not, but it has come finally. So good news. Apart from that. Uh, this action center has houses in different notifications so uh, we can actually go and see how and what notification we can uh, get here so um, apart from battery percentage this quick access button and notifications you have settings so you can go directly to settings from here so if we go to settings here this notification and plus actions is the place where you go and uh, change the settings for uh, this notif uh, action center so you can actually choose which uh, quick action buttons you want you have these options okay now so it says show it notification in action screen when my phone is locked so this is the setting now uh, here is where like facebook beta you, you can just uh, switch on or switch off which application can show uh, notification so like for facebook it i have uh, made i mean switched on this toggle is there so you will show act, uh, notification action center you can uh, allow it to show notification banners and then you can choose which sound you want for notification and even the vibrate um, will also be i mean you can choose or uh, you know just make it off so this is about uh, controlling the action center the quick action buttons and notification etc now the second very important change is when you go to the start screen so uh, again it was something which with which microsoft actually surprised every one of us because nobody has expected that uh, they will put so much thought into you know making this so not only you can set a image and make the start screen really personal so you can you know put any kind of photos you can put your personal photo of your near and dear ones or maybe you can uh, choose any other high quality photo or so uh, not only that it has something called parallax effect so you see the image and uh, the tiles which become transparent to allow the image to show up so both move so this is really good some really nifty and nice touch okay now coming to how to do this how to set uh, the start screen you can do settings and you can go start and theme start plus theme and here you can you know check uh, which accent you want for your uh, tiles then you can choose photo from here and you can set and you can remove it as well so there is an option of removing it as well now there is something which is very important so there were like rumors that uh, show more tiles which allows you to you know have one more uh, column of tiles so third column of tiles so that will not come to you know uh, low end or low, low size screen size devices but finally it has made its way so you can choose or unchoose if you switch it on so as you can see i have here three column of tiles 
so this is really nice i mean uh, now actually with these kind of changes uh, the device itself looks like a new you know a new device running a new os so i can uh, just vouch for that microsoft has really put some good work so uh, these were like two major you know ui changes so this notification screen action center or then start screen apart from that multitasking has improved so now uh, not only i mean you can close it by uh, touching this uh, cross sign but you can also just put it down and you know swipe it down and it will get closed so it's cool actually now one more important thing so it was very annoying when uh, people were not you i mean able to you know set volume uh, differently for different things so now we have it here so you can now go and check and you can actually change the volume level so ringer plus notification media plus apps sorry okay so you can also set vibrate on or off from here as well so uh, these are the basic changes or basic you know ui changes that windows phone 8.0 uh, 8.1 brings with itself so uh, once that lock screen theming application uh, also comes so i think that will add one more uh, you know uh, good customization uh, for the lock screen so uh, this was about the basic like ui changes and what is the you know change in multitasking and how to do it so stay tuned for our uh, other videos which will take you through the different stuff for different changes and how to do that thanks for watching